Honestly, I could only wish that I had the tech that we do now when I was first starting my video career. We're really in like a golden age of innovation when it comes to like gear, software, even like AI. So today I want to talk about one specific program that I think is really cool and that I would have appreciated like years and years ago. Uh, they've combined like a bunch of different tools and AI as well. It's called Wondershare Unit Converter and they're sponsoring this video. So right after launching the app, you can see that there's actually like a ton of different tools built right into this thing. So Wondershare has its main set of tools, which you can see is at the top here is Converter Downloader and a compressor, which that alone, I wish I had access to easily and simply when I first started my video career. Even having things like a DVD burner. Back in the day, I used to deliver a ton of DVDs to clients for video production. Uh, and as funny as that is, it became like such a pain as time went on. And there wasn't really like a specific program. Uh, even Adobe like discontinued their, uh, I think it was a, a Adobe Encore. Man, what a throwback. And I really wish I had something as simple as this way back then, instead of having to learn all these programs. And uh, it was just way too complicated. What I'm interested in today is a lot of the AI lab. And if we click more tools, you can see that it gives you a bunch of different options here. Today, I wanted to look at the script generator, text-to-speech, the AI thumbnail maker, and the video compressor. As much as I'm in love with DaVinci Resolve right now, I do, I don't know, like have a problem with like exporting and getting it actually onto social and still looking good because the files out of DaVinci Resolve are actually pretty big, even when exporting H.264. So I'm wondering what kind of compression and like quality loss uh, Wondershare could provide and to see if that is kind of like a nice middle ground to export about it out of DaVinci, bring it into Wondershare, and then actually have like a well compressed video that will actually look good on social media. It's like all of these things are actually really cool. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying like, I wish I had access to all these things. Like making a GIF or a GIF is actually like kind of a skill in itself, honestly. And same with the video enhancers, image enhancers, like so all of these tools obviously exist out online, but the thing that they're doing uniquely in this program is actually giving you a lot more control within each of these things. Whether you're making a GIF and giving you like compression sizes and all the customization available, same thing with all the AI image enhancers. Yeah, they, they honestly did a great job on this app. So first things first, let's uh, generate a script for this video. Okay, I'm gonna dive into the AI script generator. And what is this? This is a product review in tutorial use case of Wondershare's Unique Converter apps. Let's uh, change the tone of script to casual. All right. Opening shot, upbeat music playing with the Wondershare Uni Converter logo displayed host casual and friendly. Hey there, tech enthusiasts. This is interesting that I, I haven't seen before, is like so when you select a video platform for this AI script generator, like you can select if it's going to TikTok or Instagram Reels. I wonder if that directly impacts the time. Let's try like a humor script. A quick humorous clip of the host tripping over a pile of old cameras, that's gold. Guess it's time to upgrade, huh? Speaking of upgrades, let's talk about the Sony FX30. This is actually funny. Okay, so what if, what if we just took all of this and the thing I've also been using is text to speech. Host laughing. Whoops. Guess it's time to upgrade, huh? These are actually good. Join our loyalty. Join our loyalty. Pro Join our loyalty program. Hit subscribe and stay tuned for. Hit subscribe and stay tuned for. Hit subscribe and stay. Why do these sound Tune real? Tune in for expert insights and thought provoking discussions. Okay. Their voice library is actually pretty crazy. I've been thoroughly impressed with this. Weird. It looks like you're not subscribed. I think you should hit that big red juicy subscribe button before I. Um, I do like that they're making like a one-stop shop here. There's so many other things that you could just get lost in, like the vocal remover as well, voice changer. Okay, let's move on to our next tool. So I'm not sure if Wondershare reached out to me because I don't have the greatest thumbnails on my channel. Uh, they definitely could use a lot of work. And uh, they were telling me that there is an AI thumbnail maker, so. We're gonna try to redesign a thumbnail of mine that um, I think could just be better. And we're gonna use this AI thumbnail maker to do it. So basically what I'm gonna try to do is give it a couple prompts and get some assets that I could use within Photoshop and then redesign a, a thumbnail for my channel. So let's do that now. Okay, so inside the AI thumbnail maker, I'm gonna type in 
money falling from the sky. And as much as I've been playing around, the 3D style has been giving me the best results for my prompts. Like sci-fi seems really cool, but it just keeps giving me like crazy dystopian stuff like this. Okay, so this is the 3D style. I'm gonna download a couple of these. I'm gonna drop them into Photoshop and I kind of want to replace the like graph as well. I want it to be red. So let's see if we can get this AI to generate just a quick bar graph. All right, I'm gonna use this and then dive into Photoshop and just kind of do a speed round, make all the colors red. And let's see if this ends up making a difference. Okay, so this is before and this is after. I honestly wish I was better at making thumbnails, but I do think that's marginally better. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so the flagship tools for the software is a converter, downloader, and a compressor. And right now I wanna dive into the compressor to see how good it actually is and what we can actually do with it. So let's get into it. Okay, before I dive in, I've never actually been able to find like concrete evidence of what I kind of have a theory behind. All I know is that whenever you upload to either Instagram or TikTok, they just immediately make your stuff 30 frames a second and they compress it just like YouTube. My theory behind uploading to socials has always been trying to compress your video before the social platform, whether it's Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, gets to compress it. So here I have a H.264 render and a ProRes render. But first I wanna see what compressing a ProRes will do. And it will give me 1.8 gigs, which is still way too high. So let's go try 30%. So seven, eight. So let's hit this little guy here. So it could land anywhere between 390 and 781 here. So the lowest bit rate we can get is like 130 to 260. So the recommended range is around 50%, 50 to 70%. I wanna go 30. I just wanna see what's in the advanced settings. Interesting, okay, so constant would force this if we wanted say like a 300. Let's see what that would give us. So we're gonna open this up. Okay, so the one I'm playing on the left here is the H.264 version, which is straight out of DaVinci, and that is 230 megabytes. So I'm curious if I was to export H.264 right out of DaVinci. Now, at 30%, we're looking like under 100 megs, which would be great for social. Let's try to go with the recommended range here. Wow, if it could be almost half the file size. Okay, so this on the right is our compressed of a compressed video here. Uh, the frames look really similar. I'm looking at the edge of my shirt here. Okay, visually I can't tell a difference right now. This is crazy. Okay, let's like, let's really crank this up here so we can actually go to H.264 again and just drop this to 30. Still make this 30 megabytes. This might be a, I'm baffled right now. This is a game changing discovery for me. Just sending it to your phone alone, I feel like this is, is worth it to already have that compression. And then you're still dealing with a crispy file to post online. Wondershare on the right, my original H.264 export on the left. Okay, like now I'm noticing compression, but it's this looks like how it would be on social. This is wild. Yeah, I'm not noticing a ton of, of compression for it literally being eight times. So this file, this file that's eight times smaller than this actually is holding up super, super well. Wow, I actually am baffled right now. I honestly was not expecting that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this video and thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. I had a really fun time actually testing this software out. It's super handy and if you're interested, Hit the link in the description and you can start a little free trial for yourself and use some of these tools. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.